Hi, it's Rob from robcum.com. Going to move a WordPress.com site over to a WordPress self-hosted.org site. Uh, this is the site. It actually has its own URL, so that means the name servers at the domain name registrar are pointed to WordPress.com. We're going to change that, and uh, we're going to set up WordPress at a self-hosted server hosted by Bluehost. So the first thing we're going to do is export the posts from the wordpress.com site. This is the back end for that site at the moment. And all we have to do is under tools you go export and pick the free service and you could just export an XML file to your desktop. Other thing to do is just remember any of the things that you've set up here. You might want to make a note of the theme that you're using so you could then set up that theme at your wordpress.org site. But generally try and remember everything that you've done that might not be carried over by in the XML file when you export. Now we're going to change the name servers. So we're going to manage, this is with 123reg, but you may be using GoDaddy or Namecheap or another service. Uh, here you just click change name servers, and these are the name servers for WordPress.com, and we're going to put them in for uh, Bluehost, who's going to be hosting this site. Now that's going to take uh, 24, 48 hours to propagate. That's an hour later, the name servers have propagated through the system. If we refresh this WordPress.com site now, you'll find it goes to the Bluehost holding page. So the next thing we've got to do is set up WordPress at Bluehost. So you sign up and for your Bluehost control panel. and scroll down to where it says WordPress here. And we're going to install a brand new version. We want the latest release and uh, we want it on the root of the server and Let's have a look at the advanced options, and we'll do that later. And um, just click complete, see what it does. So we're refreshing that, and there it is. The WordPress is installed. This is the 2010 default theme. Obviously, none of the pages and posts are in. There's just the sample page and sample post. I'm going to the back end by doing forward slash WP admin. Enter the username and password that they just gave us. And let's see if we can upload the XML file. It's under tools import. This is the file that we exported um, from the WordPress.com site, and we have to install this importer. Choose file and go to the XML file that we uploaded, and let's see if this works. Yeah, it's asking me. Um, uh, because there was a different user at the old .com site and it's asking whether to assign that, those posts to the existing user admin and I'll, I'll um, not do that and I'll check that and see what happens. Okay, so it's had a little failure there. It's failed to import safe CSS. Um, let's have another look at the blog. And as you can see, that is imported some posts. Um, there's more pages here. 
although that um, text looks like it needs a, a bit of work done to it. Um, but um, there are, seems to be the posts and pages that were on the old wordpress.com site, so that's good. So that seems to be it. That's how you change a wordpress.com site into wordpress.org. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you.